Gura Escobar, Alex said. So maybe check in on the LAFC game uh, second half. But guys, let's freaking go, guys. I got uh, so anyway. Back to our full fantasy football. We do one QB, two running backs, two wide receiver tight ends. We've actually just totally eliminated the tight end position. We folded it into the wide receiver position. So that means Travis Kelty. Kelsey, Mark Andrews, all those guys get mixed in with the wide receivers. And sometimes there is a reliable old faithful tight end that maybe you'd rather play than some of these wide receivers that we have early. That makes it interesting. Going down further, we have one flex position and then the super flex. And what is the super flex? It means that you can play a quarterback, a second quarterback. And of course, standard defense, one kicker, five on the bench. I'm drafting in the fourth spot this year. So let's continue with that and get some practice. I'm ready. So it's going to come around the first four picks already off the board. Jonathan Taylor, Josh Allen. See, it's a super flex league, which means in our league, quarterbacks come at a premium. But this is interesting. The fact that he went Cooper Cup uh, third which is very interesting. It leaves me with a very interesting decision here. Now, I could go and grab my quarterback right now, just go grab Justin Herbert and call it a day. Do I look at Patty Mahomes? Well, the experts say Justin Herbert. I have my own board, and this is not my own board. It's, I have my own board that I've already customized. LAFC versus the Dynamo. Yeah, I'm definitely going to check into that, Angus. I did not have the best fantasy draft. Well, who was your first overall pick and what pick did you have? So in the first round, what pick were you? How many teams? And who was it? That's typically, you know, the good information. I, I'm in a 12 man league. I so with this run that there's been no run. Look at this. It's done totally running back, quarterback, wide receiver. I could go grab Christian McCaffrey and be totally happy. These quarterbacks, there's going to be good ones that are going to come back to me. Tom Brady, Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Dak Prescott. I'm, I, I could easily have one of those be my number one and rock Derrick Henry. What would you guys go here? Would you guys see? Keep in mind, this is a super flex league. So a lot of people will be thinking, oh, running back, wide receiver. In Superflex League, wide receivers typically don't go till second round. I'm actually super surprised that this that somebody grabbed Cooper Cup right here. But of course, this is a mock draft. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Justin Herbert here and start building the basis of our team here. We're going to go grab stud number two. Puts up huge amount of points. Not many quarterbacks come close. He's in the top three. The top three, Mahomes, Joshy Allen, Justin Herbert. But now it comes back around to us. Let's see how many quarterbacks have flew. Look at that. There's been a bit of a quarterback run. As and actually, it's been quiet. Uh, not a bit as much of a quarterback run as I thought there would be. But the guy who got stacks Jalen Hurts and Patrick Mahomes. I really like that. Derrick Henry, Nick Chubb. Look at that double stack. That's great. Dalvin Cook, DeAndre Swift. You got to like that. Saquon Barkley, Alvin. Oh, that would have been nice if one of these guys had fallen over to me in that round. Offside. We got an offside in the game. Ooh, got, got, got Sonina on his way to Chelsea outbound. And the Chicago Fire players on the ground right now getting stretched out. It's John Jader Duran. He's getting those quads stretched out by uh, the New England player for some reason. Not a good look. 30 minutes in. Concerning, he might not be able to go the full 90 if he's uh, already experiencing a little bit of tightness right there. Christopher saying, I might sleep. I got to be up at AM. Dude, it's good to see you, though. Good to hear from you. Good to, good to see what's going on. Generally feels like I punched a wall. So hopefully I x-rays. I hopefully find dude. Yep, dude, get that done. Get that get that taken care of. Uh, so Axane, 12 team, standard league, flex and fourth pick took Henry. Dude, you are in my position. Ax, you're in my position. But however, I'm in the super flex league which a little bit different than a standard league just ever so slightly literally quarterbacks just go way sooner as you can see i mean all the quarterbacks are flying off the board right now and right now i'm, I'm left with the decision i can go get my second quarterback 
Joe, Tom, Russ, Dak. Who else do we got? Trey, Stafford. Aaron Rodgers still on the board, right? Look at that. Like, that's kind of the cutoff, right? Kirk Cousins. Yeah, you, you got to think he's going to be throwing some bombs to Justin Jefferson all season long, so he'll be playable. Derek Carr. He's got Tay Adams, Devontae Adams. Two of they're going to be throwing to Tyreek. But yeah, that's kind of another where the next drop-off is. Then there's Justin Fields. How will he be with Mooney? So right now, I'm, I think I got to go Javante. Javante looks like a good call right now. Javante, Aaron Jones. I, I, I think I'd rather take him over the duo committee that I think is going to emerge with Aaron Jones. They're really going to rely on Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon a lot. They're going to both have value. So, But right now, when I think about that, I'm like, and I read these two predictions, I think Javante is going to have a little bit more value long term but we'll see who knows younger player that is so when running backs hit that 27 28 year it's kind of when they hit that wall and they start to go off unless their name's derrick henry and it remains to seen hard my remains to be seen what derrick henry is going to do this year because he's 28 years old coming off an injury a weird fluky foot injury where it happened when he was springing off the ground to his foot by the way, I'm drinking some Three Floyds here. Laser Snake. I gotta show you this can, it's wild. I haven't opened it up yet. Axe, my wide receiver core is lacking. Well, perhaps we could figure out a trade. I'm really good at figuring out trades uh, for people. So if you tell me, if like if, if you tell me your team, uh, and you tell me your need, like uh, take a look at this laser, laser snake can. Three Floyds. Uh, what is it? It's an Indian pale, uh, India pale, uh, IPA, India pale, uh, ale. Blah, 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 blah. All right, John Durator Duran, he's starting to get his kickback on his stat. Fired up! Can you do more fire games and get back to Lego Star Wars? Haven't seen you on YouTube too much. Uh, <laughs> not having to dig, just saying, don't worry, Christopher. Uh, at the moment, I've shelved Lego Star Wars until I feel the desire to pick it up again. Uh, those last three movies, seven, eight, nine. I hate, I, I, I hate, I, I tried to watch them on Disney the other day after I've seen them all. I watched them all in theaters. I seen them all twice, but I can't bring myself to watch them again. It's so hard. And, and the Lego games are stupendous. It's like watching the movie going through the first six episodes was amazing experience, but that's why I feel like I'm going to shelve it for a little while for a couple months. And then I'll maybe come back to that, that you know, in around winter. And then, uh, that, 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 yeah, I think that might be around that. But on the what's on the docket right now, I've been uh, in the middle of Elden Ring, but I can't really do that on stream as much. Like, I need a guide to play that game. It's become so confusing. And uh, I'm running out of steam. A little bit of running out of steam. Last of Us Part 1 just released something that's interesting, something to, to, to keep abreast of if that ever goes on sale. Maybe that's something we look into. I never played that game. I, I hear it's one of the goats uh, from quite a few buddies who, who like to game. So that could be something we look at. But we got Batman Arkham Knight that I got queued up right next after this. Which has been amazing. I have actually all the Arkham uh, Arkham Asylum, Arkham Knight. I got them for five bucks on, on uh, Steam. There was a sale. It was unbelievable. I was like, oh, there it is. Also, I have Sekiro, which I plan to play on stream as well. Sekiro is gnarly. Sure, try that all. I got some other good games and there's new games coming out in the future, of course, that we'll be keeping abreast of. Of course, I got Fortnite in the back pocket. I got to I want to still grind and get that Darth Vader costume. I'm I'm at like level 75. It's been so hard to play Fortnite during the summer. That's the thing. Fortnite gameplay for me winter whoop, well, summer whoop. Thirty-seventh minute and New England and Chicago Fire in a deadlocked zero zero game. Christopher saying or new game from Lego till you get back. Oh, uh, no. So uh, remember, Christopher, I do have a Lego uh, Lego DC villains, which is another one that I want to get into that. I'll definitely get into that sooner than later compared to uh, Lego Star Wars, which is going to that's that's gone to the back of the catalog until I'm like, oh, 
I need some Star Wars. I need some Lego Star Wars. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna feel the itch for Lego Star Wars. It's just I gotta shelve it for now and get enthused. Those were some fun episodes, guys. Uh, did trivia? Did uh, did did uh, little quizzes? Did all its information? Did quotes? Those were some fun episodes, Christopher. I mean, great, great shout. I really enjoyed making those episodes. I put a lot of work into those episodes in the back end, just like finding these things and preparing and getting ready for the stream. Also watching the movies, getting into the voices. It was, it was a lot of fun. But I'm definitely going to do uh, Lego DC Villains. That's in the back pocket. Sekiro. Right now I'm working on Arkham Knight. That's not going to... I almost already beat it. I mean, like, these aren't... I, these aren't exactly super long games. All right, we are on the clock though, right? So let's take a look at our draft board. We grabbed Javante last pick. We grabbed the la uh, like some of the last of the decent running backs, right? Well, you still actually still look. You got Brees Hall. You got Zeke. You got David. I could take any of those three guys pretty confidently, right? That's not a all right. I'm gonna keep Zeke in my in my in my question, but. See, right now I have a quarterback, a wide, a running back. It's a passing league. And you're telling me I could go get Debo right now? Who's my quarterback? So Justin Herbert's my quarterback. I don't want to stack. Do I, Keenan Allen's right there and he's going to go. Do I grab Keenan Allen now? I don't think I do. I think I could get Mike Williams later. Will you do NFL season? 1000% going to be doing Bears games. And I think I'm going to be doing fantasy football for you guys because I'm really good at it. <laughs> I have champion. I have championship trophies. Well, I have one that I kept. Uh, <laughs> but I I am pretty darn good at it. I am plugged in to the fantasy community. And also, I feel like I'm pretty darn good at decision making tiers trades. I'm really good at trade making like you tell me your team and tell me another Pearson's team. Like, I, I got to see it. got to see their the, the, the players, but I could come up with a good trade and you do. You tell me team needs, right? No, they need this. I'm looking for that. Well, let's start the trade there, right? That's generally where you start the trade team need. I need a wide receiver. Oh, they need a running back. Start there, right? Oh, the Ravens are going to be great. The Ravens are going to be really good. Christopher. All right, I'm looking at Debo. Uh, okay, so do we, but how many, there's not, Premier running, do I, I already got a good running back. I could just, oh, but Zeke could be really, could pay off great dividends, you know. I might live with this. I, I could, I think I might grab Zeke, guys. This, I know this. I think we grab Zeke here, even though look, look at that double stack of, 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 of that we'd have Justin Javante and then we'll get wide receivers. There's going to be wide receivers. This is the last to get the second round running backs in round three. I got to go with that, right? I got to go with that. Let's go get grab Zeke. This is super flex. So we've got our quarterback. Oh, look, quarterback run, quarterback run. All right, we got. We might have to go get our second quarterback here. He's already got two. He's already got two. Needs, needs. The guy behind me, uh, uh, uh in front. He's already got two. So he, well, he already did. So they need. He needs. He needs. They all need. Yep. I, let's. All right. Let's go to the quarterbacks. We might go grab our second goal, oh, dude. There's Mike Williams. We, do we go. Okay. We are in a bit of a. We're not in a dilemma. Okay. Okay. We're not in a dilemma. We can leave Mike Williams. Oh, we can leave. Do we leave Mike Williams and grab? We got to grab Aaron. We're going to grab Aaron for a second QB, and then we're going to hope Mike Williams makes it to us. We did. What a win. What a win. Guys, that's huge. That's huge. If this was a real draft, I would be flipping my lid right there that Mike Williams just fell to me after grabbing Aaron. Because take a look at this. I'm going to grab Mike Williams here. I am loving this. All right, let's take a look at our roster. Just to show you our baseline. Look at this roster chat. All right. Oh, Mike Williams is our number one. That's actually not great. Okay. Well, Mike Williams is our number one wideout. Not the best. 
not the best situation but look at these double stack quarterbacks we got justin herbert aaron Rodgers. look at those running backs javante williams ezekiel elliott like rocks boom now we need to fill out these wide receivers and we got mike williams he's a wide receiver too right now but he's got wide receiver one upside Angus saying, I've done fantasy baseball based, uh, based on batter's ops, OPS, and pitcher's OPS. I did pretty good at it. Been a while. Fantasy baseball is too time consuming, though. Yes, my uncle and my dad played it. Uh, my uncle plays it. And it is absolutely that. They. Because you've got players playing every day. Every There's so many players. Oh, my God. But it is fun. I played fantasy hockey one year, and it was a blast. But I couldn't do it again. It was too much. And that's how I feel about baseball. It's too much. But that's what I love about fantasy football. It's not. There's uh, in our league, we have 14 games. And then plus three if you make the playoffs and make it all the way to the end. <laughs> so what? Basically a 17 game season. That is the season of the NFL. Basically, you stay locked into the NFL to the playoffs. And it's that alone is awesome. So I need to be looking for my I don't have my my own personal tier list of wide receivers up here because, you know, Jerry Judy, I think, is farther down my list. And Darnell Mooney is above Jerry Judy. Gabe Davis is up is below Brandon. Yeah, Brandon's probably the guy. See, I don't need another running back right now. I just need to stack wide receivers and hope that one of those pays off. I'm loving the base of my team. It's 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 interesting. Okay. Oh, I'm good there. I don't have to do that. So I got another choice here. I could grab a Buffalo. You're going to give me a piece of the Buffalo offense. I think I got to grab that, right? So our team is looking fantastic. Right now, we're looking for a flex. No, no, no. We, we want to add. We want to... We gotta include Miles Sanders in this mix. We don't need a third quarterback. We're good on that. Okay, Chase Edmonds absolutely is a decent flex play. He's gonna be, he could be involved in the passing play down there in Miami. Jerry Judy. Well, let's take a look at our team build. Just double check. Oh, wait, Mike Williams, do we have any Denver? We have Javante. We already got a piece of the Denver offense. I don't want too much of the Denver offense. Although I think Russ, Russ is going to cook. So, I mean, like Jerry Judy, though, got injured last year and uh, he did come back from injury, but he may have come back a little bit uh, too soon. All the same, good player, good pedigree. I'm thinking Gabe Davis, though, is the play at the moment. Let's just uh, let's go to the rankings. Double check. Is there any good tight ends available? Oh, OK, we got to consider Kyle Pitty, Kittle, because we do play in a wide receiver tight end league, and like these are right here, Kit Pitts, Kittle, he's injured. Darren Waller has not been in camp, so like he'll be fine as season goes on. But Pitts and Kittle are going to be more your better grabs. But is Gabe Davis on that Buffalo offense a better grab than Pitts? Because that's what it is. I think it's Davis versus Pitts. Is what we're weighing up. Davis. Oh, there's also Darnell Mooney. All right, we gotta go take a look. Bateman's there. See, I might have Bateman graded higher than Gabe Davis. I'm not sure. Right now, it's 45th minute. There's three minutes of extra time. Still a tie ball game over in Chicago. Damn, my inner ADHD is coming out. So they have Gabe Davis graded higher and look at that ADP right there for Darnell 75 so we are right in that range to grab Darnell or Gabe and yeah Jerry's been dropping even though he's like ranked a little higher here see that okay okay whoa look at this Amon Ra dude he's got see Amon Ra is right there and he's ranked a little lower but look at his ADP he's been moving up the draft He's the he's got to be uh, Jared Goff's number one guy. He had insane volume. He did he did turn it on. 
but I, I, I just don't know. We just don't know if he's going to really have Adam Thielen still there. Look at this. Like I could go get Adam Thielen as my third D hop as my fourth. Okay. All right. We are stacked. I, we are stacked. Look at this. Yeah. See Kyle Pitts is top 38. Look at that. It makes me wonder. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at Pitts, Kittle and Davis. Probably the best talent right there, right? Does it come back around to me? No, not for a while. What do they need? Some people need wideouts, but wideouts are going to start going. Is there any good running back still available we could grab that you would maybe take a chance on? Not yet. Like, no, no, nothing here you need to go reaching for, you know? Nothing here you need to go reaching for. Let's go grab a piece of the Buffalo offense. There it is. Our flex guy. Hopefully he does good. See how Gabe Davis does over in now we got Tony Pollard. I like that. We got Zeke Elliott too. I actually really like this. So we get a decent backup to our look at this. So now handcuffs are an interesting prospect, right? I can get either handcuff. I can get Melvin Gordon or Tony Pollard. I think Tony is more involved in the offense, but look at 2021's points. Melvin Gordon, not to be sleeped on, slept on. But how old is Melvin? Melvin is 29 years old. So I'm going to, with this being a late round pick, he seems like the more of the sure thing, right? And you're probably right, but I'm taking upside. I'm going upside. I think I'm going to go grab Tony Pollard. However, I got, I absolutely must consider Rashad Bateman right there. Uh, let's grab Tony Pollard. That'd be a great little backup to, to Zeke. It's a Zeke. I love that. And look who comes back to us. Oh my goodness. Darrell sitting right there too. That could be a steal of a pick. Darrell Henderson could be a steal of a late round pick, right? So people expecting Cam Akers to be getting the starting job there, but it will be probably by committee and the halftime bell has rung. <clears throat> Ezra Henderson <sighs> talking to everybody in, into the TV now. So uh, we do not need a third quarterback. I'm not worried about that. We can't in our league. We only have a limit of two. And so like if one of your quarterbacks goes down, it goes to injury reserve. You bring in a guy from the there's probably usually about seven, eight guys out there that you can start week to week that you can just throw in there from the quarterbacks in our league because there's a limit of two in this super flex league it actually makes it very interesting but we also have fab which is another wrinkle i'm thinking go grab rashad bateman right grab a get into the baltimore offense grab the probably the number one guy there you think yeah let's go grab that let's get a piece of that offense i'm liking this i'm liking this build so Let's take a look at our running backs. So running back right now, our running back room is Javante and Ezekiel Elliott. And should uh, should Ezekiel Elliott go down, we could pivot right to Tony, right? However, if Javante goes down, well, that's when we, you know, figure it out. We'll probably, we'll grab, ooh, Raheem Mostert might be a nice little grab here. So Raheem, how old are you, Raheem? Speedy, speedy when he gets out into space. He's 30 years old. He's a swan song. He's in a swan song. Two points last year coming back from his surgery season. But he might be done. Now, Naeem Hines. Everybody's always predicting for him. I have had Naeem Hines on my team for like the last two or three years. He's always like my late round guy that you go grab. Because you always think, oh, he's got the athleticism. He's got the pedigree. He's got the ability. But he's got Jonathan Taylor superhuman in front of him. So. But that's not a bad guy to go grab. Nor is Michael Thomas. Is there anything else? Brandon, Thielen. I like Thielen. I'm, but what makes me nervous about Thielen is that the Vikings went out and got Jalen Rager. However, they are playing a three wide receiver set they're committed to that so because they're playing a three wide receiver set they probably need that fourth guy that they feel like they could really rely on maybe that's jalen rager who was drafted just 
before one pick before Justin Jefferson. All right. Devonta. Are we looking at wide receiver here? They are getting old. See, Naeem Hines, though, he, he's still quite young. I think I'm going to go with Naeem Hines. Let's get him. Let's get that. Let's get a bite. Let's get a piece of the Indianapolis offense. And just should something happen to Jonathan Taylor, bam, we got the guy, next guy up. And he also is a, he has a role in the offense, which makes it a little bit more interesting. All right, so we got... We at least got people who we could play for running backs. Running backs, I'm feeling pretty good unless somebody really catches my eye. Let's go take a quick look at the running backs available. Zamir White. Oh. Watch out for Zamir White, guys. Coming on late season. Might not be worth grabbing during the draft, but he might be a waiver wire pickup during the season. Don't be surprised for that. Just put him on your flag right now. Zamir White. But the word is Josh Jacobs, they're done with them. Zamir White is a three down back. The other guy that they just signed to, to do uh uh Bolden, Baldwin or something. I don't know, something I think an old New England running back, but he's just gonna do pass catching downs, third round, third round back. Zamir White, put him on your flag. Interesting little flag there. Probably not drafting though. Now Mark Ingram you might draft see that would be maybe you draft back up to alvin kamara when if alvin is out at any point of time can produce that's a good one to grab right there i'm not seeing anything that screams though come grab me let's see if there's any other good talent out there that means we're going to uh, george kittle still there i like that I'll think about George Kittle there because I think Trey Lance is going to be throwing to George Kittle a lot. And as far as that kind of that old old and steady, that's nice, like a nice 10 or so points. You could kind of just put in your lineup if you are worried. If I if you feel I can't play for some reason, Mike Williams, Brandon Cooks, Gabe Davis, Rashad Bateman. But I like this. I got some people with some number one upside with between Rashad Brandon Cooks, Mike Williams, I'll be, uh, Gabe Davis needs uh, is definitely behind Stefan Diggs, though. All right, good, good, good. So let's see. I'm thinking, I, uh, I, I don't know if it's time for Michael Thomas. I, I'm, what about the other guy? So how do we see? I want to see Michael Thomas's. I want to go to New Orleans. The, Cause there's, I thought they had like Olave or something. Yeah, look at that. So Olave is interesting cause Michael Thomas, he's getting up there. He's already got an injury. I don't want it. Oh, what am I thinking? I want Adam Thielen. I think I would rather have Alan. Th oh, Brandon Ayuk. Do I want to get involved in that San Francisco offense? No, I want part of the Minnesota offense. Give me Adam Thielen. It's like I'm stealing. It's like I'm stealing. I'm loving this. All right, so let's double check this limit here. We have wrapped up one, two, three, four, five wide receivers. So we've reached our limit on wide receivers. We can't take any more. We have uh, Mike Williams, Brandon Cooks, Gabe Davis, Rashad Bateman, Adam Thielen. It feels like I got a whole slew of wide receiver number twos and ones right there. Twos and ones, I, I really like it. Maybe they're number threes. We'll find out. Brandon Cooks. We'll see, we'll see. I like it. Now, running backs, we got Javante and Ezekiel leading the line. And if they go down, Ezekiel's, I pivot to Tony. But if Javante goes down, uh, I, right now I'm looking at Naeem Hines. So let's go to the, let's go to the hop. Everybody to the hop. Oh, see now, look at these running backs that are available. Oh, no, oh, guys. So look at this. This would have been my guy. If this guy fell to me, this would have been my guy. Deonta Foreman, put him on the end of your league drafts. Uh, if you have any more drafts coming up or maybe you can go snag him right now. I would snag him if you have a fifth, if you have the extra running back spot or something. He is the backup to Christian McCaffrey. That's not all he was. He was the backup to uh 
he was oh my gosh he was the backup to oh my gosh let me just go to the top of the draft he was the backup to Derrick Henry last year and he performed admirably they say Darrell Williams and Boston Scott Boston Scott he always get I don't see I don't need to waste this I don't want to waste I need to get uh there's nothing here. There's nothing there. It just screams, grab me, grab me. See, Ayuk, if I could stack another wide receiver, I, I guess I'd grab him, but. Yeah, a Tyler Lockett. Drake London injured D Hop. Sorry, I'm just going to grab D Hop. Let's just stack him. I, I, I am over my limit. And hey, whatever. I'm going against it right now. Now, let's go to defense. Let's take a look who's available the Rams, the Chargers, the Packers. The Dolphins, the Ravens. I like the Ravens, but not this year. Steelers. The Browns have a great opening schedule. They're a great streaming D. So if you got to stream a defense for opening season, Cleveland Browns. That's a great little streaming stream D. So the top two defenses for me got just got taken. New England and Denver. Uh, Indy and Dallas went before them, but those were... For me, I, I'd rather have Denver and New England. A lot of people say New Orleans. Uh, interesting. Chargers, Rams, Packers. Packers are decent. Chiefs are decent. I think actually I probably do have to go Saints here. But if there's a good kicker, maybe I go grab Justin Tucker. I just go grab Justin... See, all these guys are just separated by three points. There's no real def big difference there. I do think that maybe, and same thing here, there's real no value. I've wrapped up all my positions though. So I got to grab a defense or a kicker. There, yeah, let's, I think we grab Justin Tucker then. Let's go grab him. And then we'll finish it up with grabbing a defense. We lost out on Chargers, Cleve oh, Cleveland, and the Rams, and New Orleans. Okay, so what can we get by on here? Packers? They're going to have to be good, too. Miami's had a good defense, but they also just had a coaching change. So who knows how they're going to play? I'm going to go with Green Bay Packers. There it is. There's my team. I'm getting a C. I'm giving myself an A. <laughs> Justin Herbert, Aaron Rodgers is my two QBs. Ezekiel Elliott, Javante. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Mike Williams, Brandon Cooks, Gabe Davis. A little underwhelming on paper. But watch what happens when the season goes on. I think I'll be very, I think I would be very happy with this draft if this was my team. Rashad Bateman, Adam Thielen. If I ended up with this exact team, I think I'd be so stoked. Just enough upside built in. Look at that D-hop steal. Once D-hop gets back, that's going to be great. Still halftime. UPZ drone! Let's go. We get an update. Nope, nothing. I'm liking this. I like this team. So I got one extra wide receiver, D Hop. Throw him on the IR. Whoop. Right? If I had to drop a wide receiver. I want all these guys. I want all these guys. That's a good sign. Okay. So how did this draft go? Let's double check how I went here. So I did quarterback, running back, running back, quarterback. I didn't go and grab a wide receiver until late. Wow. I kind of like that. Did I get... Was there still running backs after me? Okay, there was still a few, but that's kind of right where it cuts off. Right? Good to know. I definitely got to save this. Yeah. 
like I'm liking what I did there. Let's send that to me. The old draft strategy. Draft strategy. So QB, RB, RB, QB. Wide receiver, wide receiver, wide receiver. Look at that. It's so fucking awesome. I love it. I like it. So, but the other thing about drafts is like you have to adapt. You have to be ready to adapt to the situation. To what the draft is giving you, what talent is falling your way. That's the other thing, because sometimes you can go reaching. And what you did see there is I didn't really go reaching there too much. I, I stayed right there at the top of the talent pool. Every so often I click and view more players just to get another option. But technically, usually I was taken from the top or the second. Uh, usually, uh, well, if I agreed with their assessment, that is. And I am over the moon about my team. I mean, I, I got let's take a look at the quarterback pairs. Let's see who can compete with Justin Herbert and Aaron Rodgers. Josh Allen, Matt Ryan. Not really. Justin, Justin Lord Fields, Trevor Lawrence. Not really. Daniel Jones, James Winston. No. Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts. Yes. Kyler Murray, Joe Burrow. Yes. Tua and Mac. That's an interesting one. Maybe Tom Brady, Zach Wilson. Probably not too. Uh, I'm not sure Zach Wilson's going to what he's going to do this season. We'll see. Uh, Kirk Cousins, Ryan Tannehill. I like Kirk, but to Ryan might drag that down. Dak and Derek, that, that's a good pair. Lamar and Matt Stafford, good pair. Russell and Trey, another good pair. And where do the good pairs happen? They happen all before that fifth round, right? Look at that. Oh, right, okay, right here. This is sixth round, but that was the end right there. I am liking that. Interesting, chat. see where pivot took the double rbs oh well that's interesting double rbs qbs that's cool all right i have to answer that later bump up bump but i will just give me a second here chat one second here Gotta attend to some business. Boom. So, all right. Chat, there was my mock draft. Now, uh, the fire taking the field. 45th minute, just starting back up. You got a nice little mock draft and really like that. Really like how that turned out for us there. Why does that keep doing that? I already did that. So let's pull this up. Got a little magic to pull up now. Serena Williams. That's sick. I thought she retired. All right, New England are settling into the game. Chicago Fire, uh, no Shakiri tonight. Oh yeah, that's right. He was out. He's he's preserving himself for the World Cup. Searching for downloadable content. Oh, the LAFC has started up. I'm gonna check into that game here. Uh, uh, probably after the fire game then. After the fire game, I'll check into the LAFC game. Ooh, fire trying to make a little noise? Was that Shakiri on the bench? That just ran for the ball? Looked like Shakiri. Trying to show a little, uh, trying to show you cares? Alright, where are we going right now? What is our mission? We are... Ooh. We have a fireman. What can we do? Is there one nearby? The fire crew is being held hostage around... No, we don't have any nearby. The city. 
Uh, nope. Don't abandon them. I believe it. Oh, I need missions. So we can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Best that tortured game. creature was once a man, Dr. Kirk Langstrom. There must be a cause for this transformation. His Let's lab might hold the answer. Proceed with caution, sir. The creature could well be hiding in familiar. Let's just double check. Do we have any. Nope, no upgrade points. We're good to go. The Saran 